friends. This is Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. Welcome to my channel today. I am here today to share this um, cookbook journal with you. Um, I have done a few other videos on my cookbook journal, so I don't want to, um, I probably won't show you every page because, you know, it's very similar to my previous uh, videos, but I want to do one for just for this because you know, if someone looks at it in my Etsy shop and then you want, they want to see what is in this particular one so they can see what they're getting. That's why I'm doing this one. So, um, with all my cookbook journals, I've done a surprise goodie bag and it comes with a pretty fabric bow for you to do what you want. Um, you can use these and keep these with your journal or you can use these as a gift tag. Um, they're just held on. This one is held on with um, just a little double stick um, piece of tape type thing. So it can just be pulled off and used wherever. And so that's going to be with each one. And they're all really pretty um, as far as uh, the little tack, the little bows. They came out so cute. Um, here is, I'm going to make sure you can see here. Let me move my camera back because I've got it a little close. There we go. And there we go. Sorry about that. Anyway, so this is the other one that I already have in my shop. The, um, it's like the yellowish. Or, or Yeah, it's yellowish with green. And these are all, you know, old cookbooks. These My Recipes are from like the 50s and 60s, I believe, as far as I know. I could be wrong, but... And this is the fabric bow with this one and a little goodie bag I've got ready to go. So I've already done a video on that one. That one's in my shop. And then this one, uh, Betty Crocker. I've got this one in my shop and I uh, already did a video on this. Here's a little fabric bow I did with this one. I didn't show these in my video. I didn't have them done at the time when I did the videos on these. So that's why I'm kind of reviewing those and just showing a little I keep tweaking, tweaking them, <laughs> get new ideas as I do the next one. I get a new idea and then I add the new idea to the ones I've already done if I haven't sold them. So anyway, so that's what's going on here. But um, yeah, these just turned out so cute. So I want to share those. Here's the one that goes with this one, the um, Gooseberry Patch. So just a combination. I think I have four different, three or four different, I think I have four different actually scraps in each uh, bow. So those are just fun and, and pretty and uh, so that's with that one and then you already saw the one that's going with this particular one that I'm doing right now just real cute and then so quick flip through of of this one I think uh, what I did with this one is I think I got I counted the pages and there were over a hundred pages I mean there were like a hundred and seven pages and I think I had to take a few pages out because I was trying to turn the pages and make sure, you know, I had everything in here that I wanted, and and I just was having a lot of trouble turning the pages. So I was like, this <laughs> this is not working. So I actually had to take a few pages out. But this is just a quick flip through, like I said, to show whoever is looking at this particular listing in my Etsy shop, so they can see what they're getting. So. I've got the same elements as the other ones, a little bit of scrapbook paper with fold outs, uh, four or five different recipe books, uh, pages from those. Um, I've lined like some of the pages with pages like kind of miscellaneous, like this is an index page from a recipe book. And this page um, is like a card, almost like a card stocky page from this recipe book. And it was plain on the back, so I just wanted to put something on there. So some of the plain pages I lined with a miscellaneous type recipe book page. So it gives it some kind of, you know, interesting look. And then since it's so generic, you can put, you can put something right over this. You know what I mean? Like put your recipe card right over this or your picture or whatever you want to put in here. And just use this as your background. So that's what that's about. Then I've got several lined, different colored line paper, the graph paper, cardstock um, paper with, you know, a little bit of decoration here and there, but I left it mostly for whoever gets it to do the decoration. That's why I put so many goodies in here. 
I'm going to put a pocket on the back of each um, divider page. So the, each of the divider pages is from this book and it has a little tab and there's a pocket on the back. I tried to decorate all the pockets and I decorated a little bit of decoration on the back of all the flaps of all the envelopes. So um, here's the goodies in this one. Uh, I don't want to pull out all the goodies because that would take too long and they're similar to the others but this is an envelope that um, is in here that was made from a recipe book page and then I'll just flip over here is um, I put one of these in each of the books a, a doily pocket with goodies I put napkins in each of the books and unused like old unused recipe cards so you know I've collected these from different um, thrift shops and things and so they are unused um, here's a little decoration here like a little collage that has a fabric bow another fold out with flip up recipe cards little um, label right down here uh, let's see pages from the night September 1960 uh, Reader's Digest several really beautiful ads and here from that and some stories uh, old lined paper that came with this recipe book and you know the Betty Crocker pages are in here um, the Better Homes and Garden pages here's an example of decoration I put on the flaps of the envelopes and then this you know is full of goodies I did copy a few of my recipes for my personal recipe book just really ones that I really um, thought were pretty to include in here I've got um, some journaling cards here with a pretty napkin in this little tuck spot that's made out of a pumpkin, uh, kind of a pumpkin cut out there. I've got soup spelled out right here in um, puffy stickers. Some wallpaper, pretty decoration here that I cut out, blue ribbon kitchen and a lobster. A little cut out here that I used to decorate that page got pages in here from Hel Heloise Kitchen Tips and then a chicken cookbook cute cute funny chicken cookbook little charm here that's a I believe this is a measuring spoon and it's hanging on a bulb pen another pocket with some goodies I did include several of my homemade recipe cards that are all they all have a little rubber stamping a little little um tab here and some washing a little decoration on the back that's how I've been making those so that's included and there's a bunch of goodies in here so uh, recipe cart or book page readers digest there fold out here let's see little tuck spot and I copied some of my linens here let me show you that real quick copied some of my linens with um, real pretty colors and made a corner tuck spot there. This is a tuck spot here with a magazine envelope and an unused recipe card. Here's what um, a plastic pocket that you can use to tuck things in. And this has a piece from a recipe scrapbook, that big piece there with lines. You can use it as is or cut it up and these are the two from two of the ones from my personal recipe book that are really I thought were really pretty so I wanted to include those for someone it's got part of the recipe on the front and the back I put it on cardstock so they're nice and sturdy and I did distress those so they're very cool and vintagey looking and they are old actually I mean mine are old I've had these forever so I mean since before 2000 so they're pretty old recipes that I have in my my recipe book so they are considered vintage I believe and then see so here's another decoration on the flap of this envelope bunch of goodies in here I've got several of these um, here is a recipe like I've got some original I've got a I got a, a bunch of a lot of original recipes from an estate so I've got a bunch of those throughout the pockets and envelopes in here. I've got some of these in here from like a 
recipe library that um, people used to get and get the pack of cards every month. So I've got several of those in here and all the pockets and um, envelopes. And just plenty of writing room and places for you to put your recipe cards, uh, recipes like if they're on paper or write your recipes on a card in here. In each of the books I'll put a little, uh, one of my little just ribbon, cute little ribbon paper clips and this is a coffee dyed paper book like it's backed with the cardstock and then it's just got um, several several papers from um, from coffee dyed paper in there and just holding that on with my paper clip here is another pocket with a little uh, fabric bow and a little collage with some goodies in there more Reader's Digest. This is uh, from a craft. This is craft paper and it's lined and this was in a recipe journal that I have and I've put several of those pages in here. Um, Betty Crocker. This is another fold out with another piece of my linen, copied linen. So this is not actual linen, this is a copy of my linen so it's paper. But it, with the bright colors and everything, it came out so pretty. It looks like, you know, it looks like real stitching. I just thought that was, I wanted to try that, and it came out really pretty. And, and I've got another envelope here, decorated on the flap. Lots of goodies. Some original handwritten in there. This is a um, kind of like a double pocket here that I put in. Uh opens up like this. So these are together and I've got some goodies in here and they are the back is lined with recipe or this is, I think was from the Heloise book. Um, so I've got a page back back on on here on the back of it and then little pockets for everything right there. Little tags I made from the cutoffs and SNH green stamps. And then just more pages from the different papers I've already described. Another pocket with a collage. Here some um, old crochet I got from my, a yard sale from my friend and she said her mother. And this is an older lady. She's probably, I don't know, she's probably 70. And she said her mother made this. So this is old. <laughs> I mean this might be 100 years old, you know, or more. So I've got a strip of this and I've just been, been been cutting off pieces and putting them in my journals in the collage. And then there's a piece of book page back there, a vintage button, a little black safety pin, and a little tag that I made there. So a pretty little collage and goodies in that pocket. And then put back here, another envelope with the decoration. Lots of goodies. Goodies, goodies. Here's a pretty unused recipe card. This one's really pretty, so I would like to show that one. <laughs> I love that one. There's a handwritten in there from someone. Original handwritten. So, another flip out here. This is a fold out page. It gets long, and this is uh, this actually says notes on it. And it was actually in a recipe book, so I took that out and made a flip out. And then this is a flip over here. So just let those, those pages make lots of room for you. Recipe book pages. Getting toward the back. Uh, one last divider card here with a pocket. And I've got several things in here. There's a magazine page. This is from um, a magazine. This might have been from one of the estates. It's an old magazine page. I think that was. And then this was from an estate. The lady that saved her Cool Whip uh, recipe. From, you know, they put a recipe under the top part, under the, under the lid, the little cardboard that goes in the lid. So that's what that's from. So I've had a, got a couple different recipes from a, you know books from recipe from estates, and I've got 
you know, you'll see in my other, if you watch my other videos, there was another Cool Whip uh, recipe in there. So that's, I guess that's very common for people to save those recipes. Here's a fold out here. I love the Betty Crocker. I think this is the Betty Crocker. And the Campbell Soup has neat colors on the pictures on their pages. Another, uh, this is the last envelope with the decoration on the back. This says, oh, so good. Goodies in there. And then more pages, cardstock. Here's a bag. I've got, got lots of goodies in here. And this flips up. This is actually a canning label sticker here that I got a pack of and I don't have very many of those, but I found those at um, found those at a thrift store. So I hope, you know, when I run out of those, I would really like to find those again because I think they're really pretty. Here's a little picture that I put down here of some like uh, looks like brothers eating up out on a, like they are they're on a camp out. It looks like, and they're eating a picnic, having a picnic, and it says, small moments, big love, family meal. So I just thought that was cute and pretty. And oh, this, let me tell you about this page. It's a Mod Podge or Decoupage page done with a pretty lemon um, napkin. And then, then we're at the back. So you can put pockets in the back if you want. Um, just glue them in. Use some strong glue and put a pocket paper pocket in here if you want or use some material or fabric and use some fabric glue but um, I didn't want to cover this up um, but whoever gets this is welcome to do that if they want but there are plenty of pockets and envelopes in here so this is um, this is an old one it has a little bit of wear on it um, if you can see I hope you hopefully you can see that in the in the camera sorry but um, it's in very good shape I mean I'm not worried about it coming apart or anything so it's got some it's old vintage charm on here it has been used it's got a little bit of wear here and here so but it's still um, I mean I have another one that I can't I can't make into a journal it's just too far gone <laughs> but I'm getting I'm using the insides insides are good but the outside I mean it's just gone so unfortunately, I mean it's too it's so dirty and uh, it's really it's really bad. So uh, I feel fortunate to get these when they're in good shape, like the ones I've made into cookbook journals. I wouldn't I wouldn't make them into journals unless they were in decent shape. So this is in really good shape, and it does have a little bit of vintage charm on it. So that just adds to it. And I I hope you enjoyed this. This is a pretty one, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching today. Have a good one.